Mila, why did you have to die? What am I supposed to do now? My mission was to help Mila. How did it end up like this? I was able to get in touch with Rowan and Elise. But nobody seems to be able to get a hold of Alvin. <sighs> Don't. Just stop. Again? Jude, you gotta stop doing this. If you keep this up, we're gonna run out of food. I'll make you some more. Be right back. You guys are my ticket home to Olympias. All I have to do is kill you off. That deal I made with Muse. Muse. Mila's big sister. After everything that happened, she attacked us. After all, anybody who learns about the schism will have to die. It is my mission. Go ahead. Do whatever you want. <sighs> you always try to go with the flow. You really piss me off, you know? Mila. She gave it her all. She sacrificed her life for the people of Rize Maxia, for the spirits, and for us. Mila's responsibility, her mission, was to protect everyone. What do you mean, her mission? How absurd! She was just... 
just the bait, created to lure out Gilland and people like him. None else mattered to her. Understand? Certainly not a sense of duty or justice. None of that mattered to her whatsoever. <laughs> and then she worked so hard, didn't she? <laughs> her mission meant nothing. Stop right there. I won't let you hurt him. I can't let you do this. It's over. You've got nowhere left to run. No, it's not over. Open your eyes already! Damn you, Alvin! Every damn thing we did was pointless! Pointless? It wasn't pointless. I met Mila. I traveled with her. She made me think. She taught me many things. And it helped me grow as an individual. However, The schism is definitely still up. But why, damn it? The sky is as red as it's ever been. I still can't see Olympias. <laughs> if the schism wasn't dispelled, then why'd I let her die? What was the point? She died for nothing. Mila... died for nothing? That's not true! Saved our lives? For what? She's gone now, isn't she? <laughs> Can't be like her. Mila inspired everyone to give everything they had. We kept going because of her. But in the end, we could never be like her. Jude, did you not realize how conflicted Mila was? She was torn between her mission to protect the schism and the actions that could eventually lead to her own death. Mila. <laughs> it's no wonder that she never found her answer. Her 
existence and her mission were just lies that were given to her. Humans and spirits alike were precious to her. So precious that she valued them more than her own life. That was the Mila I loved. Mila finally gave you something to live for, and I suppose that made you very happy. Too bad it was all for nothing. All that time you spent with her, all those feelings you have. Time to set them aside. Set them aside? Put an end to my feelings? I didn't mean to. Alvin! Jude, this is your fault! Why? Alvin, why? Why are you surprised? Isn't this what you expected from me? Not like this! Well, that's too bad. You've been pissing me off since day one! Always the perfect student, trying to please everyone! Never wavering those damn ideals! And what? What did you want me to do? <laughs> Dragon <laughs> shot! Dragon <laughs> shot! Go ahead and kill me already. Kill you? How can you even say that to me? Mila saved your rotten life. Don't be so eager to just throw it away. Don't you get it? Mila died because she wanted us to live. She didn't die so we would... so we'd end up like this. Well, 
Well then... What the hell should we be doing? I'm not Mila. I can't live like her. I don't have a mission to fulfill. She's not here to hold our hands anymore. We have to think for ourselves now. Think for ourselves how? No one is gonna make our decisions for us anymore! And no one... No one will take responsibility for our actions ever again! <sighs> Even if... Mila's mission was all a lie... The truth is... She was still willing to put her life on the line to fulfill it. It's not a matter of if you can or can't. It's a matter of whether you do or don't. Jude... You... Why did it take me this long to figure out what Mila was trying to tell us? Let's get moving, Alvin. Thank goodness. Jude... Are you okay? I'm fine. Just fine. Don't worry about me. Okay. Where's Alvin? I don't know. He took off. Leia... Thank you. Huh? For what? For watching over me for so long. Thanks. Jude... Did something happen I don't know about? I just realized something. No, you helped me realize something. And for that, I thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to search for Maxwell. But Mila is... No, Maxwell is somewhere else. Remember what Muse said? Mila was just the bait to protect the schism. That would mean someone else was using Mila as a decoy. It wasn't Muse? No, it couldn't have been. If it was, why would she appear before us? There'd be no point in a decoy. So that's why you think Maxwell is somewhere else out there? Yeah. You haven't tossed the food on the floor yet. You're a much nicer patient than I was. You can say that again. So when are you leaving? As soon as you're better. I'm fine. I'm a tough girl, remember? Leia, am I the reason you've pushed yourself so hard? What do you mean? I know I always stick my nose into other people's business. I'm wondering now if that ended up hurting you. Please, you can be honest. I had... I had to grow strong because I couldn't stand the thought of seeing you sad again. Then I'll be stronger, so you won't have to. All better? Yep, perfect. So where should we go? I want to talk to Muse, but we're no match for her right now. I was thinking of searching for Ivor. Yeah, I guess a handmaid might know about this stuff. That is, if he survived. Oh, who am I kidding? That guy's like a cockroach! <laughs> Huh? <laughs> 
Ho, easy. Good to see you. You came all the way out here for us? Of course. We heard that Muse began attacking the fleeing Exodus and Olympia's soldiers. We grew concerned for your safety. She never tracked you down? We've been on the run. So far, we've managed to elude her. But about you? Alvin found us. You saw that big fat liar? Yes, we sure did. I see. I'm sad to hear that. What will you two do now? We're going to look for Maxwell. We can see Mila again? No, Jude believes there's a real Maxwell out there. I see. That thought never occurred to me, although it would explain much. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. <laughs> the honor student is now the teacher. You've certainly come a long way, young man. Anyway, we're planning to find Ivor first. We'll deal with Muse later. Just thinking about her scares me. Jude, have you heard about Gaius? No, nothing. For whatever reason, he's begun a large-scale operation in Fenmont. It caught Muse's attention. She's attacked the city relentlessly, but he's driven her off each time. Leia, this will be a dangerous journey. You still okay with coming along? Of course! I'm coming too. I'd like that, but are you sure? We want to know if Mila was a phony or not! Although... That doesn't change the fact that she's still our friend. I have my own reasons for wishing to meet with Gaius. Thanks, guys. What's it doing here? Its mana is completely gone. It's because Olympian soldiers used a Spyrex here. What? Olympian soldiers were here? Yeah, the day after I fought with Alvin. You had a terrible fever from your injury, so I'm not surprised you didn't notice. Did you beat them? No, they were just passing through here as they fought with soldiers from Rashagal. All I did was hide out in the shed. Pretty lame, I know. I'm surprised you didn't step out and fight. If I'd gone out there and gotten killed, you'd have been all alone. What I really need to do lies elsewhere. Now come on, let's go. Yeah, you're right. This cannot be. 
Could she have reacted in ways I did not foresee? Someone must have been influencing Mila, possibly controlling her. Did the Four share with her the truth? Impossible. They would never disobey my command. you stray from the path. I know not what to make of this. Come on, let me fight already. I'm gonna lose my edge here. Jude seems a little different now. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, maybe he's grown a little tougher? Young men can mature dramatically in very short periods of time. Jude seems to have found the resolve to confront the harsh truths of the world. Women grow up too, you know. We have no choice but to. Yes. So you can grow big bazongas like Mila. That's... that's not the sort of growing up we mean. <laughs> I shall do whatever I must to see you all safely into adulthood. <sighs> Are you getting tired? A little bit. Things aren't the same as they used to be. Hey, Elise, can we borrow Tipo for a sec? Huh? Give Tipo a squeeze. You'll feel better. Oh, this does feel good. Just the right amount of resistance. I could do this all day. No, stop! I can't take any more! Ah, all the stress has drained through my fingers. I know, right? It's crazy addictive. Oh no! He's gonna get all stretched out! I feel so violated!
Thank you. 